Welcome to the channel. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and review all the products that I use to clean the wheels and then shine the tires once the car is washed. Uh, but before we begin, uh, if you could uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you feel that this video, these videos are useful and don't forget to share and hit the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate that. So first what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and talk about um, the bucket and when it when we talk about a bucket there's also the grit guard um, so this bucket that I have um, right now is a 4.5 gallon uh, bucket from chemical guys I feel it's a good size for me um, it's not too heavy um, or it's not too big um, and also make to make sure it's not too heavy I actually don't fill it up with water um, I just use it to carry everything around and uh, I rinse as I go along which I'll um, talk about that in the video of when I'm actually cleaning the wheel um, but with the bucket there's a grit guard also this is the one that I use for the um, wheel bucket um, so what I do is I usually just put it inside there and it just sits flat and one of the first products that I want to talk about is Brake Buster I really like this product um, it's kind of an all-in-one um, meaning that it's for the wheels and the tires um, so I don't have to have two different products. Um, I just spray uh, this one product on the wheels and the rubber on the tires and it gets it perfectly clean. The first thing that I do is I use this flag tip brush. Um, this is a Chemical Guys brush also. It's plastic right here so it won't damage your paintwork or your wheels um, in case you accidentally hit it. Um, but it's really, really soft so it won't scratch the wheels or anything like that. Um, there we go. And then after I'm done with the face of the wheels, I go ahead and use this brush to clean the lug nuts. So it's a really soft, fine brush. Um, again, plastic won't damage anything. And then once I get done with the face, I use this microfiber madness wheel brush to clean inside the barrels. Um, believe it or not, I've had this for about a year and um, washed it maybe once every month and it's retained looking like this. It's a really incredible brush and <laughs> I can kind of see why they call it the microfiber madness and uh, in incredible brush. And then once I'm done with all of that, I use this brush right here. It's a tough shine tire brush. I've had this probably for a good year and a half and it's held up really, really well. Um, it's plastic so it won't damage your paintwork or your fenders if you accidentally hit it or something like that. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean the wheels and after that, we're going to do the tire shine. So before we begin, as you can see, this wheel is dirty with that uh, line that I made there on the wheel. I uh, just want to show you guys this before we begin uh, so that you guys can see that we're cleaning a dirty wheel, not a clean wheel. Okay, so we're uh, going to clean the wheel now and uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and spray the wheel down with a pressure washer. Uh, this is running about a thousand PSI. You know, I want to try and get as much loose uh, brake dust off as possible. Any loose uh, dust or uh, uh, dirt or anything on the wheels, any type of grime, uh, just to make the cleaning process easier. Okay, so now we're spraying the wheel down with a penis brake buster. Now we want to cover the wheel pretty good here. And now what we're doing is we are basically getting all the loose dirt off with the Chemical Guys uh, flag tip brush. Um, you know, I mentioned this video, this brush earlier. You know, we want to get um, in between all the cracks and crevices and uh, clean the wheel uh, the best as possible here. Uh, you know, we want to go a few times around and uh, just make sure that uh, we get everything pretty good. Now what I'm using is the Chemical Guys Boar's Hair Detailing Brush to get in between the lug nuts. Uh, this is a really good brush, it's really fine and uh, it won't scratch anything. Um, and I'm also cleaning the brake calipers uh, the best I can getting in between the spokes here um, 
and uh, basically just trying to get in between the cracks and crevices and getting all the brake dust off um, that didn't come off with the spray or the pressure washer. And now what I'm doing is I'm using the Microfiber Madness wheel cleaner to get in between the spokes in the wheel barrel. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite tools. Um, it is a bit time consuming, um, but it does keep the barrels looking clean uh, in um, after you wash it and in between washes and it prevents any type of uh, buildup in, in the barrels so that you know it's not a nightmare cleaning it later on or anything like that. As you can see, it's really easy to use and uh, it, gets, it gets in back uh, behind the wheels pretty well. So I cut some of these sections out in the video just so the video wouldn't be so long. But in between tools, I actually clean them to make sure they're ready for the next wheel. This is just so I'm not carrying over any dirt uh, to the next wheel and you know causing scratches or anything like that. So now what we're doing is we are spraying the tire down uh, with a PNS Brake Buster and we are cleaning the tire with the Tough Shine Tire Brush. Uh, you know, as you can see, the foam is white. That's what you want. You know, you want kind of like a whitish slash maybe a light brown f uh, foam. Uh, you know, this kind of shows that you're, you know, you've kept up on your wheel cleaning and, uh, you know, it doesn't have any additional grime besides the normal brake uh, dust and, uh, you know, any, any road grime or anything like that. So now what you want to do is uh, you want to go ahead and rinse the wheel off, you know, get it, uh, get all the foam off, get all the dirt and, uh, you know, you're ready for the next step, which would be uh, foaming the car or washing the car however you decide to do it. Um, but you wanna be really thorough here, you know, don't get too close to the wheel and uh, really get all that uh, foam and dirt off. Okay, now that we've cleaned the wheels, washed the car, dried the car, and uh, now we're on to doing the final wipe down and tire shine of the wheels. Um, so what you see right here are the different products that I use for the wheels. Um, first off, um, I use bead maker for the face of the wheel um, so that it, uh, it repels uh, the brake dust as best as possible and also um, you know the water beads once uh, you know I need to wash the wheels or something like that again. I use this towel right here to wipe the wheels. Um, this is a uh, uh, towel from the rag company. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, leave a link to it. And then what I do to shine the wheels, is, or I'm sorry, shine the tires, is this right here. Um, it's this new car high shine dressing. It's not really high shine. Um, it gives a nice matte finish. And the reason it, uh, it does that for me is because I dilute it um, uh, uh, three quarters product and one quarter water. So basically, uh, what is it? I think it's 12 ounces uh, product and four ounces water. And it kind of gives it a nice uh, product where I can actually spray it out of the bottle. Uh, without diluting it, you won't be able to spray it. So just uh, make note of that. Some people actually go 50-50. I tried 50-50, but uh, it, it kind of left it a little bit too dull looking after maybe a day or so. Um, I really like it when it's uh, you know three quarter product and one quarter water and uh, distilled water. And I use this to basically uh, put the product on the wheels. Um, it contours really, really well. And uh, it's really easy, especially with this handle right here. I'm not getting my hands dirty. And these are really, really cheap. So, you know, this lasts me maybe like three or four car washes and then I just toss it. Uh, it's hooked on through Velcro. So, you know, it stays on there pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, this is one of my favorite products, believe it or not. Uh, it just makes it really, really easy to put the shine on. All right, now on to the demo of putting the shine on the wheel and cleaning. Or I'm sorry, doing a final wipe down of the wheels. Okay, so wiping and putting the dressing on here. 
Uh, so what now we're doing is uh, we're gonna go ahead and put some PNS bead maker on the wheel and you want to go ahead and work that product in you know you, you've got two goals here you know you're taking all the excess water off and you're wiping in the uh, PNS bead maker to give it that added protection from the brake dust and uh, so that it's easier to clean that's why you saw earlier when I cleaned the wheel with the uh, pressure washer uh, a lot of the brake dust came off uh, very very easily simply because you know I've got my wheels protected with the PNS bead maker uh, you're gonna be really thorough here, you know, and get in between all the cracks and crevices. Uh, get the lug nut area, as you'll see, I'll do, um, which will prevent any water spotting and streaking on your wheel. So now I'm putting some tire dressing onto the foam pad, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and work that onto the tire. Uh, you want to go ahead and just you know go all the way around obviously and as you can see um, you know it doesn't really leave a large amount of dressing on the tire so it won't have any sling or anything like that and uh, you know there's a nice uh, gloss which will you know dull down to a matte finish um, in about 24 hours and it could be as little as eight hours as well and now I'm doing a final wipe down of the wheel just to get any additional uh, streaks that may have been left from the PNS bead maker in the water. And I'm also wiping around the edge of the wheel uh, just to get any tire dressing that may have, that may have uh, touched the wheel, get that off. All right, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. And like I said earlier, if you find these videos useful, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And don't forget to share. Um, as always, the links to all the products are in the description. Um, if this is something that you know you want to use for your uh, car detailing, um, like I said, this is a you know really simple process for me, um, and I've kind of perfected it over the years. Uh, just you know using different products and also watching other YouTube videos as to what other uh, detailers are using. Um, for me, I find this is the most uh, economical and uh, beneficial uh, products that are out there. Um, you know, when I factor in cost, ease of use, uh, getting the product and different things like that. All right, well, have a great day. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.